So what do you do when you feel like crap and you don't feel like putting makeup on? Your hair is a mess and you go me 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 whiny whiny whiny. You vlog about it because somehow talking to 5,000 people in this condition <laughs> makes me happy. It has nothing to do with the fact that I stopped exercising and that I'm eating a lot of junk food and that I went to bed at 5 o'clock. This why I did not go to bed at 5 o'clock. I could not fall asleep until 5 o'clock. Got up at 7.40. Of course, the not sleeping until 5 a.m. had nothing to do with all the junk food I ingested during the day. Nope, I refuse to think that way. It is Friday, June 6th, and as you can see, I'm in a funky mood. <laughs> but I got stuff to show you. I know it's been a while, it's been since last week since I haven't vlogged, and it's going to happen frequently until I finally move into my condo, which is ease coming really soon. I just woke up this morning, I went, holy moly, I have so many things to do, and I am moving literally in two months. So it's freaking me out a little bit because in my head it's always eight months, eight months, eight months. Um, I got lost in my head again. I had a busy weekend last weekend. Donna Downey was in town. She gave a series of wonderful workshops. I attended one of them, the abstract painting workshop, which was a lot of fun. So I will show you that over there. I don't have, like I said, a tutorial to show you, or did I? I oh, Ferrari. <gasps> it's the Grand Prix weekend in Montreal this weekend, guys. And I'm, I haven't watched anything yet. I haven't been up the para. Oh, I have a candle on my desk. My art journal pages are sticking together, and a couple of pages, every time I open my book, they go and then big chunks of paint are peeling off. And I once heard, I think it was Journal Artista, she said that she rubs uh, a candle on her page and it doesn't stick so much. Now, um, I know from uh, talking to Donna last weekend, I know that she also cures her pages with wax. I Could it be that she uses turtle wax? I'm not sure. I thought I heard her say that. Um, but I'm going to try with these because I had bought them... Um, when I heard that, I bought like a pack of five. So I'm going to try with this first because I have them. And I also made a page in Small Dilutions for the store, which makes me really happy. Well, it made me happy yesterday until I you know, got up this morning and everything just went <laughs> berserk. There's no reason for me to feel this way, by the way, okay? Everything is okay. Don't panic. Don't worry. Everything is fine. My life is wonderful. I just feel like crap. And I pretty sure I'm coming down with something. Maybe it's a cold because now my throat is hurting and I will probably have to use this guy. This is an echinacea spray that you shoot in your throat. It tastes yucky, but it's effective. I go there now. I can't speak today, so I'm going to try. This is the second time I'm trying to explain what I did here, but essentially this is the abstract painting class. No, we were not told to do this. This was my own uh, choice, my own creation. Everybody was creating something different. What she taught us were the different steps, the different techniques to achieve this look. And what I'm talking about this look is this awesome, awesome shiny finish very glossy, very smooth to the touch and this is achieved by using pouring medium by Liquitex. And on mine there are two coats. Now the idea behind my canvases in particular was to do a series of tulips, very abstract tulips. They did not turn out as tulips right from the get-go because I chose the wrong colors. That's not what I had in mind but I went with it and they kind of look, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of reminds me a bit of like fire on a bed of coal or something, like a very imaginary fire flames, <laughs> sort of. And uh, there's a lot that's going on here. I will show you one in particular. It's funny because I have some crackling here and this was totally not intentional. Instead of using India ink to uh, create these drops of white and black, uh, I used acrylic paint in a dropper and that's probably why it cracked with the pouring medium. Uh, had I used India ink, maybe it would have had a different effect. But there's, there's some glazing uh, technique going on here. 
there's some indentations made through the pouring medium, the first coat. There's some stenciling. Lots of steps to these, lots and lots of steps. This was a full day, whoops, a full day of um, of class. Like I said, the colors were not my first choice. That's well, not my not not my first choice, but this is not what I had in mind. And at one point, I was um, not uh, doing what I was preaching, which is let it go, let go of imperfections. And I got really upset. And I think part of it, a very small part of it, was me trying to impress the teacher, which is wrong. So finally, I decided to let go. And this is when that black line and the black drops come into play as well as the white uh, drop. So I essentially went with uh, not India ink, but I went with these, the FW uh, acrylic artists inks. And I just decided to go like that, drop it, you know, let it go, but with some movement. I knew I wanted all these drippings in a straight line at the bottom. So all in all, now that I'm looking at it, I'm satisfied. This is not what I had in mind, but I love them and they will absolutely go up on my walls in the condo. Now, the second project I wanted to show you is this guy here, which I made yesterday. It came together pretty easily. Again, this is using a glazing technique. A little different than what I did on the canvas obviously because I don't have pouring medium but I started using a whole bunch of uh, paints by Dina Winkley which I absolutely love I love 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 these paints I love the finish on them it's not glossy it's not matte it's just perfect and so I colored and then I took some stamps from uh, Paper Artsy which are these these are great uh, mark making stamps Love them, love them. Look how interesting these shapes are. So I use a whole bunch of them and I also stamped with the paint in the background. And if I zoom in, you'll be able to see, you see here that geometric pattern and the different colors in the background. This is all achieved by painting first with the, um, I think I used four different colors and then stamping also with the four different colors. After I was done the background, what I did is I took one of the stamps, this one here, because it reminded me of a flower, I guess, and I stamped it numerous times. And then I took India ink, this time I used the um, Dr. Martin's India ink, and I went around the shapes and then did the stems with the India ink. And I also used a leaf stamp. After I had done the flowers, I went over the background with a mix of white paint and acrylic glazing liquid to create this glaze. And I love the effect because it hides, it mutes down, it tones down the, the background, but I like the continuation of this towards the inside of the flower, which is in, like you see the full color and then you move towards there and it's the same continuous movement. You can see here the circle, but very muted. I love, love, love that. This is the same technique that Giselle teaches in her tote bag class. This bag here that I made, I know I showed it before, but essentially this is the same thing. This is a white glaze in the background and the background originally is like this. So love, love, love that technique. A lot of fun to make and I just uh, slapped on one of those uh, quotes by Diane Reevely from this stamp set and it says life is art live yours in color so perfect for that and that's it I mean that that page came together very beautifully it was very organic it was done yesterday had I done it today maybe it would have been a little different <laughs> But I'm quite happy with it. Before I let you go, I want to show you something, and I actually want to um, see it at the same time as you. What I was talking about in my intro with the um, wax candle, I have cured my page. I don't know how long it takes to cure, but I have rubbed the candle over one of the pages. So we shall see. Not this one. Oh! <laughs> It's this one and it worked. Oh my gosh. See, these, look at this. This is what, oh my gosh. It totally works, guys. Totally works. Okay, so you see here, this is a chunk of paint that I'm missing and I'm missing the letter as well. Here, 
here, here, and here, and here. So every time I would open my book, see, I'm going to have to do it on this one. Every time I would open my book, it would stick together, and I would have to pry these pages open. But now it opens beautifully. Oh, my goodness. It worked. It worked. I'm so happy. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so today what do I have on the agenda? I need to clean up my office slash studio. It's a mess. I need to work in my planner, which by the way, I've decided not to do a video on my planner because there are certain things that I can't show you. And also I don't feel like I have it down to a science and I know I don't have to have it down to a science. But there are other people that do it much better than me and also I haven't still figured out a way to be consistent about the format. I'm consistent with it because I, I have to use it every day but um, every day I change my method and it's not good material for you guys so you'll be totally lost and go huh? So I will keep it to myself. Uh, it's an executive decision that I took and uh, I'm happy with it because it was stressing me out, which is weird. We shouldn't stress or sweat the small stuff like that. Okay, the second thing I wanted to show you are some of the postcards that I've received. And this is awesome. I've received, first of all, here is the one from Australia. And this is from St. Kilda, I believe. Oh, Melbourne. I know it's Melbourne. Uh, yeah, City View from St. Kilda, Melbourne. Hope I'm pronouncing this right. And this one is from Wendy King. Beautiful, beautiful boats. Love, love, love the water. This is the place that I would like to live. City, water, boats. Awesome, awesome. It's gorgeous. So she says she leaves, she leaves, <laughs> she lives in Heathmont. Uh, which is a, a, she calls it a leafy suburb of Melbourne, about 40 minutes from Melbourne. Awesome. Oh, one day I will get to visit all of these places. And the other one I received is very interesting. This is a handmade postcard. Look how gorgeous those photos. And this is from Germany, uh, from a city called, and I'm going to butcher that. Göttingen. Is that right? Göttingen from Regina. Regina Brock. So Regina says that she lives in a very very small village, 250 inhabitants, and um, the small town next to her village is Einbeck. And so she sent me a, a pamphlet of that town which is awesome. They drink beer there. Of course in Germany they drink beer. We have that in common. We like our beer. And she also made me, look at this, this is a handmade postcard. Uh, she made me a postcard of the bigger uh, town. She says it's 42 kilometers from where she lives. And yes, we are in kilometers here in Canada. Not in the States, but here we are. So I understand what 42 kilometers is. Uh, but she actually made it with some pictures of Göttingen. I had, <laughs> this is a little tidbit if you're interested, I had started learning Deutsch, German, Deutsch, I think you call it, um, many moons ago, I think I was like 20, I bought a book and the only thing that I remember from that book is how to say this tea is good, der tea is good. <laughs> I don't know why I go up, but anyway, so um, that's the extent of my uh, knowledge. So thank you so much for these postcards. For those of you who have sent me postcards, you will get a card in the mail from me. Um, I just don't know when exactly, but it will come. Keep sending them to me because this is awesome. I cannot wait to start uh, putting together my mini album. I'll have to figure out a way, a fun way to display these because obviously I don't want to hide the text behind it. So I'm going to have to be very creative and this will be a fun project. Uh, I think I posted on Facebook yesterday, but if you sent me questions or comments on any of my platforms, you will be answered. I just didn't have a chance to do it uh, right away, but it will get done uh, sometime today or tomorrow because I have a few 
And I need to work on some stuff for my condo. Need to line all my ducks in a row. So that's pretty much my day for today. Not much arty. Maybe tomorrow. I'll see. Anyways, I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I will see, see you later. Bye. Oh, I do feel better. Hmm.